Where the hiccups going on here? Not this time. Well, I am recording as we speak. So I think yesterday or today was the shortest day, Andy? Uh, I believe so. Um, I'm just going to hang fire in a second. We've lost Andy, Dave. I think the cat got him. <laughs> the cat. It's pretty vicious. Well, he's just trying to work out what he's going to do with his four hours of sunlight. Today. Right. That's all. Here he's <laughs> Multiplayer. Games. Join. Hard normal 14. So, uh, what time did it get dark on the shortest day, Andy? Was it about 4.30 or? Uh, yeah. I think it was about... Um, well, it was pretty murky all of yesterday afternoon, but it got dark, dark, um, probably about quarter to four in the afternoon. Wow. Oh, I couldn't stand oh, that. I'd that, go crazy. That blows our mind. Yeah. And I'll tell you what, it's I've only just opened the curtains now, so that's 20 past eight, and it's only just light enough now. Really? Yeah. Wow, it was it's starting to get light at about ten past five in the morning here. Oh, actually, you'd get light very early in your summers. In summers, yeah, it gets uh, light at you know four o'clock. Wow, and, it's, and it stays light quite late as well, doesn't it? In summer. Yeah, I mean it it can uh, be light until ten o'clock easily. Yep. Wow. So you could play golf after work in England in summer? Oh, yeah. I, I used to uh, play in the uh, evenings. When... Yeah. You can't do that here. Uh, I, well, before daylight savings, if, they, if there's no daylight savings, about 9 p.m. it gets dark. That's our longest day. Sort it's a nice strange. gentle start, mm. this hole, but um, it doesn't stay gentle for long from memory. Yeah. Yeah, this is, doesn't ring any bells to me at all. Oh, good. It's a great course. Oh, Dave's taken the shortcut. No, I haven't. That was Andy. Oh, I was. <laughs> I was distracted by Slicer Show. Yeah. Never mind. Uh, Never mind. That looks like Dave. Those colour clashing outfit. That's exactly. him. I have to miss him, really. Yes, I, I think the, um, the, the, the colours that everybody has in a costume. It says, says an awful lot about our characters. <laughs> it does. Well, I still think it's a crying shame I can't assist with um, some custom shapes. Exactly. Don't be long. It'll be fine. It is. Pretty good. Uh, so we've got six foot, thirteen foot, so nothing, uh, nothing to worry about there. Now, that's the first shot up. Well, this hole is the first golf I've played since our game, Andy, on Friday. What are you doing? This is very lacklustre. Mm. That's how I felt playing days around. <laughs> so many 50 foot plus putts and stuff, it was crazy. And then Dave was hitting them within 10 foot. It was, it was very yeah, but demoralizing. I, I missed a lot of putts. I mean, thank God. That's the only reason he only beat me by four. Mm. Or whatever it was in the end. 
It might have been five because you picked up. So up you didn't have much fun, put it that way. Oh, it was okay. But um, I think after Parkle's first round, there was yeah, no chance. I think he's secretly waving to the crowd already. He's picked up eight on his yeah, on the first round or whatever. So. I don't know where it's all coming from, Dave. Uh, at least uh, I continued my my uh, winning form against him on snooker when I played him. I did actually <laughs> play him on Thursday. Um, and I don't think he's beaten me since about September. Really? Yeah. <laughs> so you've got him covered there. I'm, I'm just about. I mean, I, I he, he does get easily distracted, uh, <laughs> and he he can't multitask. <laughs> does that include talking and playing at the same time? Uh, oh, that that is uh, he just cannot do that. And uh, if, if uh, we're talking away, he will come out with things like, "What am I doing here?" And he genuinely doesn't know what ball he's going for or, you know, his uh, thought processes. It's, it's amazing. So I do my very best to talk to him about all this. <laughs> sure, sure, that helps. It's, it helps you. Yeah. Well, I can count myself lucky. I'm only one. Ugh. I'm only one uh, shot behind. <laughs> yeah, I, I got up a full an hour and a half, two hours before I normally do this morning. It was not, uh, so you only had about five and a half, six hours sleep. Mm. That's not much. Speaking of talking a lot, Andy, I'm going to give yeah. you a scenario, a real-life scenario, something that happened to me. And I want to ask you how you react, how you would have reacted to it. Yes, go on. Uh, it was a night shift at, um, at the computer site out at Knox, where me and Dave both used to work. This night, Dave wasn't there, but I was working with a guy called Gary Donaldson. And he's one of those guys who just won't stop talking. And it's a 12-hour night shift. It's a long time. And anyway, we're talk he's talking, talking, talking to me. And I went to the loo and I went into a cubicle and I shut the door and I sat down and he followed me in and he was still talking at me through the toilet door. <laughs> what would you have done at that situation? What would I have done at that situation? Oh, this is very interesting. Uh... I, I, I'm, I might have said, uh, what was his name? Gary. Gary. Gary, yeah. Ga Gary you're going to have to give me a bit of uh, peace and quiet here. I, I, I can't, uh, I, I need to concentrate on the task in hand or something like that. Well, <laughs> that's very subtle of you, Andy. Um, unfortunately, you'd already been talking to me for eight hours and my fuse was all gone. <laughs> so what did you say uh, to I, I just said in a really loud voice, I said, Gary, never follow me into the toilet and talk to me again. Now, fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> and the win-win aspect of it was he didn't say another word to me all night. He was hey, mute. That's <laughs> only four hours where he wasn't talked to. Yeah. yeah, but, oh, he just, he took me to my limit and passed it. He was on the like, if, if you saw him coming, you'd just pick up the phone and start pretending to talk to someone. Yeah, literally. But you do anything <laughs> to not hear his voice. So bad. <laughs> um, what What was? Did he ch Did he change with you uh, after that permanently, or did he just sort of? Uh, was it just the the one day that he? No, um, no, it was like he, the whole time. he yeah, he he still talked nonstop in the computer room, but. He never followed me anywhere again if I got up and walked away. So that, <laughs> that was good enough because then I could just get up and walk away <laughs> and he wouldn't follow. So I was happy with that outcome. 
And I didn't care one bit that he was miffed with me. <laughs> no. Well, uh, I um, I remember years ago. Uh, it's a similar sort of. Uh, I was. I shall just get rid of this. Shot. <laughs> yes. Don't distract yourself like Barkle. Go on. It looks on, pretty good. Toddled down. It'll do. It, yeah. It, oh, I'm so Yeah, I know what it was. Um, years ago, I was starting to get a little bit rattled by one of the people I used to play. Uh, real life golf with yeah. and he he uh, he started making some very personal quips about um, um, buying drinks and I thought well hang on a minute this this is this is really not right because I'm actually buying my fair share of the drinks ah, so the, and, uh, for, yeah. and for a while for the next two or three sort of things I I went out to my way to buy him a drink but just sort of uh, uh, just sort of stopped at the one drink yeah. so that he was if you like he was in my debt but he, he still fast. would stop um you know, making some snidey comment. And yeah. this, this, this one day, I, I, I'd, uh, I'd basically had enough. I was kind of ready for him, and I said something like, "You know, Harry, I'm sick and tired of you uh, um, belittling me and taking the piss out of me at every single opportunity." I. Said, I've had enough. And I said, there's one of two things going to happen now. Either you're going to leave this bar or I'm going to leave this bar. You make the decision, but I don't want to ever drink with you again. <laughs> Fantastic. <laughs> and he, uh, uh, he, he said, uh, no, no I, oh, oh, don't, don't be like that, Andy. I says, no, I've had enough. I've had enough of you bullying in me. And I mean, I use that that word bullying. It, it was a kind of mental, not torture so much, but it was. He just didn't. And after that day, the guy never spoke to me again. Fantastic! You won. I, I kind of did, but yeah. the, the best the, the best reaction was um, what what other people did in the bar because at this point uh, oh, the guy oh that's a good shot the guy <laughs> just sort of basically turned around and that was it he, he went off with his tail between his legs <laughs> and everybody looked at you know the few people that, who were there in the bar at the time just looked at me and we just burst out laughing it was great <laughs> you stood up to the bully and you beat him fantastic yeah. you didn't even have to hit him <laughs> oh that could be good as well could be it is Yeah, it's funny. People become masters of just pushing people's buttons, and yeah, yeah, you know, they get off on and, it. Uh, and I, I remember it crystal clear to this day that I, I'd, I'd have it had enough, and it was just really starting to get me down over a period of a month or two. Yeah. Because when you start noticing things, well, when you realise it's it's going on, you then become much more attuned uh, tuned in to what's uh, every little nuance and, and so on so for, the, for about sort of a month or two 
I thought, there, uh, there he is. He's added again. He's added again. Yeah. It's uh, one day. I just stood my ground, and uh, that was it. Enough was enough. Yeah. Fantastic. Yeah. Because um, when when people belittle you in front of a group, it, you know, when you if you try and defend yourself, it doesn't work. You know, it almost, no. you know, that that's the whole point of them doing it in a group. So they know you can't really defend yourself. So what you did was exactly the right thing. Mm. Now then, while we've been uh, talking away, I've, I've noticed somebody's. Uh, oh, he's just crap. Yeah, he's, he's gone into quiet achiever mode, and he's picking up strokes left, right, and yeah. centre. All of a sudden, we're two shots behind, Dave. <sighs> wow. Well, not for long. Dave's about to sink this one. <laughs> well, I am. It's pretty straightforward. <laughs> but still, yeah. So I take it you guys hit five woods on this hole? I did. Yes. Yeah. Which I didn't have. I had to chop down on a three. Didn't really work. Mm. Ooh! <laughs> Don't get excited, Dave. It was... <laughs> Never gonna miss. Oh, he's busy eating his strawberries and cream. He doesn't care. I am. Oh, it's so good. It's well, I tell you what. When it comes to bloody June or July, uh, it'll be me that's going to be uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> doing the strawberries and cream. <laughs> I just but tell Carol. <laughs> Inform Carol that on golf nights you want strawberries and cream for breakfast. <laughs> I'm sure Bella would like that too, at least the cream. Mystic Rock, this, um, so far, there's none of the holes are ringing any bells to me. Obviously, played it before, but. I mm. know. Oh, no. Oh. Well, I think you. I don't think there's any trees in your way. Was that the 146, Andy? It was the A time, the 159. Really? It was. A bit of percentage loss. It was about 15%, something like that. Mm, it's pretty big. It is. Chopped 146, so I knew I wouldn't get by. Nothing at the end, but there's a bit of break early. I just got to gamble. Oh no! Smacked it. Oh. Uh -oh. He's belted it. Oh. oh no! Look at it! Look at it! Oh. Feet, Dave. 
Mm. It just seemed to roll and roll. I mean, you can actually see it. Yeah, so, I mean, I'm halfway to the hole, I thought I had it. <laughs> and it stopped breaking. Yeah, nice, Dave. Thanks, mate. Mm -hmm. Oh, no, I just had oh, a mouse. No. What, what did that? you do there? I, I knocked the mouse by accident. Oh, <laughs> it's my own fault. I'm not, I'm not going to ask for a shot back or anything. Oh, <laughs> but it's annoying. It's annoying as hell. Yeah, I haven't got bloody tins of German milk lined up there every day. <laughs> well, I have got some German milk because I haven't been able to have any while I'm looking after mum. <laughs> but I'm only on number three. I should be okay. Ah, uh, uh, it was doable, that. Easy enough pause, but I'm not exactly threatening the birdie uh, yet. Oh, this is a disaster. Out of nowhere, I've got a double. And I was in a good spot on the fairway and everything. Hang on, double? Oh, yes. Uh, wasn't a par three. Yeah, the mouse fart killed me. <laughs> now, that's one thing I never get. I never get a mouse fart. Well, I can't remember the last time I had one against you guys either. But I felt myself knock it by a millimetre as I was setting it up. Not the time to go in there. Oh, it doesn't matter. We can't get there in two. Yeah, you probably get a seven from there, Dave. I can try. <laughs> Oh, that's the mayor's office. For sure. Look at that boy. Yeah. There's none of this pulling to the left like he was the other night. What was up with that, Dave? How did you solve this problem? Solve what? Well, you were pulling him all to the left the other night and had a terrible time. Yeah, but that wasn't me, you realise. Oh, was that Harvey? No, that, no, that was Andy. That just had that <laughs> shot. What are you on about? What planet are you on? I just hit my oh, end of the God. bunker. No, I'm talking about last time we played. Oh, I didn't do anything to try and correct it. So it just corrected itself? Oh, well, it must have. But there's nothing I've done. That's a nice angle in. He's sitting away from the water. Yeah, yeah. I think I might try that angle in as well. Oh, I thought you might go for it. Actually, I am going for it. <laughs> I can't. <help. laughs> you, you were toying with us, Dave. <laughs> I was. Only the worst sort of golfer I wouldn't go for it. Well, I, I'm. <sighs> Oh, that's a nice uh, shot. That's. It just wasn't reachable, Very... but I might be within super flop range, which would suit me fine. Oh, or pitching yeah, range. Yeah. Well, that, that's given me some encouragement, actually, Dave. Because you can hit it a bit further with your lower number in the sensitivity. Mm. Give it sandy. Gee, you wouldn't have been far away from the... Yeah, 73, that's fine. Yeah. It's pretty much perfect 84. Mm. That's what I would say as well. So I'm glad you went for it, Dave, because... Uh, <laughs> well, it's better help, Andy. 
gave me the incentive to to do it as well. Gets the right bounce. It's gonna be good. No, it didn't. Oh. Gee, it wasn't far wrong. Right, this is pretty big. I'll get this right. It's too much. Bugger. The uh, the latest iteration of. Uh, of uh, HP Studios version of of whatever it's called PJ Tour 2K yep. 20. I've read a few um, comments about it, and it doesn't sound very good at all, Dave. Uh, I, I'm I, I would actually like to. To sort of see what what the the swing mechanic is like, but but uh, I haven't I haven't seen many really nice things that people have said about it. Yeah, well, it's a hundred bucks here, and I, I'm going to keep my eye on it. And if they have one of those free weekends where you can just download it and play it for four or five days, I'll give yeah. it. Yeah. But I'm not going to pay for it now. And. I almost guaranteed the ball physics is going to be worse because the ball physics in this is fantastic. You know, it doesn't matter about the graphics. Well, I, I think from my perspective, I, I see, I mean, I, I've, I've played one of the versions where oh. it had a, a reasonably good mouse swing. Um, mm. And I remember sort of... Uh, telling you guys about it you know a year or two back yeah but i'm not sure whether this latest one has actually gone backwards in terms of the uh, of, of how the swing actually works well if it's gone backwards i'm not interested at all because i played the previous version i didn't like that one. Oh, look at that oh. Oh. well we both have oh. read that what I can gather, the, um, the 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 mouse is pulled back, but actually, once it gets to the swing, the 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 swing goes ahead without any input. I'm not sure with that, or you just click it, or I'm um, didn't sound very uh, promising at all. Yeah, I remember the previous version. I downloaded it and installed it, and I just thought I'm going to go into a round and I'm going to hit rehit on shots over and over until I understand the mechanics. And I got on the green, and I had about 30 putts, and I couldn't work out how to putt. I couldn't work out what made sense, and that just put me off. Because if the putting doesn't work, there's nothing worse. Yeah, I'd say that this putting is pretty decent. Oh, this is fantastic. I remember early, it used, the ball used to go a million miles an hour and then slow down really fast. But by the time they released it, it's just about perfect. Maybe the cup physics aren't perfect, but they're close enough. Oh, he's gone for the extra distance. Look at this. Yep, that's helped me immensely. Oh, I have the first cut, that's all right. I can it's not bad. Oh, 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 you took on the tree. I was going to say that's a super brave line. Almost got away with it. I thought you were through. So did I. Mm. Well, I'm going to just talk it around that tree. Seems like a good idea. Actually, it's probably a good I good job it did hit that tree because I think it may have been uh, heading forward towards the water. Oh, you didn't hook it enough. Yes, I did. 
Genius. Oh, oh. Genius. One. Well, thanks, Dave. I'll take. I don't know if I de deserved it, but I'll take it. I have not written myself up as cannon fodder yet. I'm still enjoying Train Simulator, Andy, especially the steamers. Well, I uh, I haven't had any other goes yet, but I'm I'm uh, developing much more expertise in the the art of rallying. Ah. I, I think if you were to see one of my runs now, it's a mm. lot uh, it's a lot tidier. I'm going uh, yeah. instead of going hell for leather. I'm I'm, I'm trying to do clean runs, um, slow into corners, fast out of corners, um, rather than just going hell for leather. Break, break, break. So you've gone from John Daly of rallying to the Nick Fellow of rallying. Yeah, yeah. It's it's hugely satisfying with uh, if you get it. No, I mean you could go faster, but just when it's really tidy and it's a bit less stressful. Yeah. But um, the times are, and I'm gradually turning up the degree of difficulty. So uh, once I get through a rally, and I'm, if I do well, then I will turn the difficult uh, difficulty up for the next. Um, rally set up yeah. so it works quite nice uh, I might have to give it a go again I've got dirt something or other sitting there I can't remember which one but I know it was fun but uh, I always used to find it exhausting my brain would get tired after about 20 oh, minutes oh. Andy what was that what the hell was that you bloody mm. dill And, and for those, for those viewers who are tuned in, um, I think that uh, what the mailman was uh, just uttered was a shortened version of dildo. <laughs> <laughs> uh. <laughs> He's not delivering. <laughs> not delivering on that one at all. Oh no! Oh, what it's, gone. I, it's long and right. That's what it is. Okay. <sighs> Just didn't push well, down. I thought, this, I thought this was supposed to be a, an easy setup, Dave. It is. <laughs> well, it's easy. God, it's this is a horrible, horrible put. This is I'm putting along a bloody hog's back here. I have a feeling even power will win the game. We're going to lose strokes. No, I'm actually quite happy with that. Ooh. All over. <laughs> it would, should be okay, but I'm sure he would have preferred two feet closer. Right. This one is pretty horrible. A lot of break early, not so much late. Okay. Oh, No, he's to the left. Oh, it just got there. Oh, 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 oh. Are, you, are you going to take that? Well, after saying you'd missed it. I, I'm going to take it, but you're allowed to call it a disgrace. <laughs> I think I earned it. No, if you if you don't mind, I'd rather keep that. To, Comment until such time as it's a full-blown disgrace, okay. rather than a partial <laughs> disgrace. Keep it in your back pocket, Andy. Feel free. Oh, oh. bloody! Oh. 
That's Fuck. cruel. That is a death blow. Wow. Okay, well, oh, I've got. Wow. Kind of digging myself into a hole there. We're busy digging away, and Dave's just staying the same, which is going to be good enough at this rate. And that was a big test to see how he went on this one, and it's straight at it. That's unbelievable. It could be an old baby. It's good enough. Mm. Gives me a chance at a par. <laughs> Not much chance. No, I said at a par. <laughs> yeah, good chance of a par, true. Right, but I've learned from your shot. You know, I'm just, oh, crap. Well, I, several words come into my mind. Nail, hammer, coffin. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, indeed. I'm going to draw this in. My favourite little shot. Oh, yeah. Well, that is an old baby. That's a ripper. Oh, that's a shot of the day so far. 21 inches. We'll give you that one day. Thank you. But I have to thank Dave for that. He gave me the um, gave you the, read. Dist the distance sighting I needed. Oh, Christ. Oh, maybe it's not as bad as... Oh. Pedestrian. 57 feet. Christ almighty. Oh, uh, this is... I just feel as though it's it's all <laughs> it's all going awry here. Yeah, you're in what I call bleeding mode, Andy. Go on. That's a lovely shot. Nice well, it really was pretty tricky. Didn't it? There was a lot of break on it. Mm. Right, so we're shortly going to go to minus two, even, and plus two. I see. Uh, before we came uh, uh, online together, mm. I, I five or six shots, and they were really, really good. <laughs> I thought, I'm on for, I'm well, on for special round, and I, I don't feel as though it's a straight bloody shot. Oh, I picked one really nice straight drive, but other than that, I don't feel confident about which way the ball's going to go. That sounds annoying. Especially after hitting five or six good ones. Yeah, we, with different clubs as well. It was yeah. the driver was working fine, the four iron was, the seven iron. I thought, lead me on here. Yeah, well, anyone that gets a good drive here has a chance at an eagle. Is it? Is it? Is it? I think it's on the fairway, but it'll be a bit longer. No, we about the same as mine. If not, I prefer his ankle, to be honest. 259. Yep, that's probably reachable. Hard fairways. Oh, you bloody donkey. Oh, Jesus Christ. Just not happening. Not happening at all. <laughs> not happy.
pretty good. Well, certainly a birdie chance and an outside eagle Just chance. Far away. Yeah. 246. Theory on this shot. Let's get it right. That's how I wanted to hit it. Is this another O baby? Oh. oh! That was nearly an albatross. Wow. That, that would have got all your shots back. <laughs> so, uh, and, and it would have been um, worthy of a disgrace call. <laughs> oh, I would I think happily definitely... accepted the disgrace call if that was the case. Well, either disgrace or outrageous. One of the two. Yeah. Bit of both, really. That's not too bad. But... Sixty feet. Oh, Christ. It's not happening, is it? Everything's a bit ordinary for me today i think with this game the, the, when you start not playing every single day you just get a little bit rusty in certain things and it's easy to get off your game Seventeen six. Oh, goal. Seventeen six. Uh, uh, <coughs> for our viewers, that's uh, <laughs> the mutant virus suddenly getting older. <laughs> Our English uh, correspondent. <laughs> English correspondent despondent. Oh, stop turning. Yes, good. Wow. Well, the only thing that's happening is that I'm going backwards <laughs> all the time. All right, come on, you little pill. Well, this is a nice, easy par four, isn't it? <laughs> yes, indeed. This course would be um, problematic if it was windy. So there's a lot of rocks and water. Mm. Uh, right down the middle of that. Thing. Very nice. I'm still 208 out. I wouldn't want strong wind here. There it is. I've gone back to the fade. Oh, 
worked. It you worked, found, yeah. You found your wheelhouse, Andy? You're back? Well, we shall see. I, uh, I was actually aiming on the on the rocks in the uh, on the side of the lake there. Yep. So you got a good fade going. Not too bad. Hmm. I'm not going to not going to give it to him. <laughs> no, it's, it's something to do. <laughs> right. No, I did learn a lot from that. Two sixteen. Whoa. The seven wood is too much. The one ninety five is not enough. But if I draw it in. Trouble is, I want to fade it in, but that tree's in the way. I'm just going to have to draw it and hope for the best. Yeah. All right. Now I've drawn it too much. All right. This is, this is, uh, gee, that distance would have been good. Mm. It would have been. That's pretty decent, though. 31 feet on a. Oh. I'll take it, considering I thought I missed it. Just too long. Oh, I cooked. Yeah. Just not quite there. But... Oh, bloody hell, why am I going long and right? What the hell? Hmm. Well, all, all I can say with those long and right is when you possibly when you when you don't play the shot, uh, you know, sort of regularly enough, as I haven't in, <laughs> since our game on Friday day. Yeah. You forget that when you're playing those flop shots, in the backswing needs to be slower than you actually think it is. Yeah, yeah. the downswing definitely has to be dramatically faster than the backswing. And if it's not, then you get the long and right. It's as simple as that. Yeah. Dave got it for ages, but finally he worked out the timing. Oh, it was so frustrating. It still happens. Yeah, and, and it, it happens when you tighten up mm. and you sort of pull back slowly, but then you push forward slowly because you're tight, and that's when you get them. It's a stress thing or a tension thing. Well, I, I also think it's a competence thing as well, <laughs> and I'm <laughs> dreadfully incompetent at the moment. <laughs> I'm just waving the bloody mouse in the, effectively in the general direction of the the animation, and without much, it's a total disconnect today mm. with me. It feels. <laughs> See how this putt goes. I mean, even my reading of putts has not been great either. Yeah. I'm right for the taking, Dave. <laughs> I'm right. <laughs> oh, Dave. Oh. Come on. Wow. Come on. Who said that? Oh, yeah. Leighton, you were. And he'd do it with a fist, fist pump. He did it when he was happy. <laughs> uh, I've got the three, so 
on five behind. Crisis is. It's not. It's bad enough being five behind, but actually, what's what's equally worrying is I'm four behind uh, you, Dave. Mm. So I've got to overcome two hurdles. <laughs> That's a lot of work to do. In it's nine not out. Yeah. You're gonna have to shoot, you're gonna have to shoot a thirty or a twenty nine and see what happens. Mm. A thirty two isn't gonna cut it. It's not gonna cut it. And a bit left. Right. That's a nice line. Yeah, he's just, he's hitting Mayor's office most of the time. And it makes a big difference. Don't you dare go in that bunker. Bloody smelly pig. <laughs> yeah. So I'm watching a TV series called The Mandalorian. Have you Mandalorian. watched the first season or are you watching the second day? I'm up to season four. I'm up to episode four of season one. Okay, well, I've seen season one. Yeah, it's, it's, it's okay. It's like they've kind of, it's really been Disneyfied a lot. Yeah. This is the way. Yeah. What is it about? Oh, it's a Star uh, Wars thing. Yeah, Star Wars Bounty Hunter. It's a sort of side story from the whole Star Wars thing. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm going to continue to watch it, but I'm not sure. It's worth it's watching. Worth... And they've just released season two, so. I saw that on the forums, yeah. Oh, this is going to come down. Oh, baby. Pretty nice. Yeah, that, it is pretty nice. Well, uh, I'm going to try and emulate that shot, but I have no, uh, <laughs> I have no expectation that it will be repeated. It's not bad, but compared to some of the rubbish I've been hitting. <laughs> so you're damning yourself with faint praise, Andy. <laughs> yeah. You realise when you're having a, a bad day when you don't even wait for anybody else to sledge you, you're <laughs> indulging in a bout of self-sledging. Yeah. <laughs> you know, there's no point in waiting for supportive comments, so no, nothing's just, got to, come. just got to get on with it. Yeah. Everybody <laughs> else, gorgeous. everybody else who's singing, God, he's playing some absolute garbage. <laughs> <today."> <laughs> uh, fantastic. <laughs> I, th I think the the other thing is is invariably me <laughs> first as we after the approaches the greens. <laughs> uh, eh? This is odd. Mm -hmm. uh, just the the. Wow! I'm just looking at the grid. It's showing a different. Almost a different way to the uh, BLI. Well, it looks right to left. I'm just looking at it at face value, you know, with no grid and no BLI to access. I would have sworn well, right to left. Well, I'm actually aiming left as a pin. Well, well I, I would. Just if I didn't have the BLI or grid, I wouldn't. I would have aimed to the right for sure. 
You were right. Well, it was pretty much dead straight. Yeah. But if I'd have gone with the BLI, I would have, uh, yeah, I would have aimed to the right, and it would have uh, uh, gone way right. Mm. So it was kind of on a mini spine. But uh, yeah, a little bit, but uh, I certainly wouldn't have uh, picked that line if I hadn't have looked at the. Uh, Oh, it's a beauty. Oh, I thought it was going to miss to the left. Nice, Dave. Oh. That was a big putt. I was expecting to actually, you know, drop the shot there. Mm. <coughs> Instead, you've held your lead and put Andy in even more trouble. Uh, we'll get him rattled at some point. Well, I'm pretty sure he is rattled, you know. I'm expecting a big collapse, though. <laughs> it's a resigned defeat. I just want to get a birdie at some point. Oh, shit. Oh, oh. That's a hand grenade. It doesn't look good. Get Oh, my God. Oh. And there are those woody bushes. I don't like the woody bushes. Well... <laughs> you, you really... Could I have picked a worse hole? <laughs> I don't think so. I mean, considering where you would have been aiming, I, I'm assuming you were going effectively to the, you know, the, the gap between the trees where Dave's gone. Yeah, a fraction to the left of where Dave yeah. went is where I aimed, and it's gone 60, 70. Yards to the right. Wow. Of it. Now this oh, is. What's, go what's this going is... on? Oh crap! Well, it's not reachable in two, Dave. You should be able to minimise the damage. Well, maybe. I'll, I'll be uh, certainly attempting to. <laughs> and get out of it with a draw. I'll be delighted. Dacker. Uh, bounce off the path, maybe. No. Uh, oh, no, excuse me while I do a little bit of F5 exploratory work. Yep. I don't want to hit those woody bushes. Okay, I've got my line. There's only one line that works. I don't even care. I, no, it does look about right. Seven yards. I've got to keep it low. Yeah, I'm going to hit a six iron. Punched. No, you've nice got it out. I just couldn't go forward enough to get in in range. That's cost me a genuine stroke. I'm going to hit there. Thank God, no hand grenade again. Would have been a bad time for a second one. <laughs> This is not a shot, uh, this shot not without uh, danger. Perfect. Nice. Yes, I'm happy with that. I don't, I don't think I could have taken a, a visit to the, the <laughs> grave. 
It would have broken. That, that would have been just been too much. I'd have been, <laughs> I'd have been curled up in a ball on the floor. Yeah, Carol, I want a glass of milk. <laughs> Yeah, the, the only difference is she would give me a glass of milk. <laughs> Which wouldn't have solved the problem. Uh, <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> right, this is back time now. Come on, come on. Looks like a good 105 distance. It does. Thank it the Lord for that. Right, 105. Yep, just full 105 maximum punch should be just right. Maximum punch should get the bounce, bounce, backspin to the pin. Bounce, bounce, backspin. Oh, little bastard, oh, that slope got it. All right, Dave, it would be interesting to see how you play this one. Hey, well, I'm going to play the 91, but I'm hoping for some backspin. Or I might chop down just a little bit. I opted for the chop down. It's not going to work. Might. Yeah, a little bit. Well, bad. you two are very similarly positioned. Well, it's flat for the last four feet, so there's that. But other than that, it's like Merrisbrook or somewhere like that. It's all over the place. It's like throw it out there and guess. Oh, I've hit, oh, belted it. Oh, I've belted it. No, it's too bad. I think you thought it'd be worse than it actually was. Yeah, well, I only half felt it, but I misread but it. But I, I think uh, yeah, they've given a, a bit of a read to Dave here. A slimmer. See. I gave him a little bit of information for sure. Oh, look at that. Oh, no, it doesn't. holds like a bloody bucket for you today, Dave. That is huge. That, yeah, that's a two strokes win against me. And he's back. Well, Andy, it could be time to start the sledging. <laughs> yes. It's, yeah. <laughs> Don't worry, I throw it away every time I'm in this sort of position, so you don't need to sledge at all. You're going to talk yourself into it? I, I always do. <laughs> For whatever <laughs> reason. Well, that, that was my first sledging comment, by the way. <laughs> oh, that's wet! Oh, no. Oh dear me. Where's it gonna drop you? Oh, that's... <laughs> Behind yeah. some rocks, come on. Mm, doesn't look perfect. It says to pin 54 feet, but if you can't get over the rocks, it's a disaster. Well, it's not 54 feet. It's That's what it says, post shot. Ah, oh, post shot. Yeah, okay. Not where it's placed. 54 feet away in the water was what it meant. Oh dear me, Dave. Yeah, that's I think right. that's yeah, that's okay. Oh Christ! Oh, well, that's all right though. It's not wet. That is so bad, it's been uh... yeah. Look at it, it's so far left. 
Mm. I mean, that was meant to be a fade, and I've hit the bloody draw. That looks better. If it's the right club, which it was. Lovely. Tough. Oh, I've been watching a golf tournament um, the last couple of days. It's the Father Son Tournament in America. Oh, Tiger Woods and his kid. Yeah, and the kid's pretty impressive, I've got to say. The kid got an eagle. I can't believe yeah. that. Yeah. His first eagle. Wow. He's the youngest kid or youngest player ever in the tournament. He's only 11 or something. And uh, he hits the ball unbelievable. And I think three or four times, both him and Tiger were in bunkers or in the rough, not far from each other. And the sun got closer than Tiger, three out of the four. Well, that's not hard these days. <laughs> Good point. But no, he'd have the best coach in the world, so. Well, yeah, and he's, it's not just Tiger. He's got some of Tiger's friends, you know, they're also pros. They're also helping this kid. Yep. So he's getting a lot of different perspectives from the best players in the world, how can he not make it onto the tour? He'll be there. Oh, you're coming back to the pack, Dave. Yep. Oh, it's giving me the stupid view. I, I, just... the stu I have the stupid view as well. No. Well, I want to see a replay because I didn't see anything. Oh, I missed by a mile. Oh, that's terrible. I didn't see a bit of that because of my body's, my golfer's body. Oh, thank you very much uh, for that, you've Dave. A, you've won a hole, Andy. Hold on. He's back. Well, well, it, what it means is I'm now only four behind. <laughs> oh, did you only hear four behind with six to play. I heard a scream uh, in the set, Dave. He thinks he can win. He's done it before. Four, four behind and three behind. Uh, okay, right. Come on. Oh, look at this. He's back. He's back. Well, the question is, where, how far away have I... <laughs> 50 yards. Everyone's favourite distance. I think I'm going to go with the three wood. All right. Yeah, three wood. I almost accidentally exited the game. Oh, carry, carry. Harry, still going to carry. It's maybe not a bad uh, just so. Mm. That's uh, a good three. Um, that is the perfect line because he's the only it one is coming out of the bunker. Yeah. Dave, did you get much rain today? No, we got fuck all. Just a few drops. We had one big band to come through, that was it. Yeah, it basically, just before it fell out, it split in two and went around us. Yeah, I saw the split. We were kind of in between it too, but we caught part of the split. Yep. 
Mm, uh, backspin. My backspin. All right, 91. Do your thing. That's what Maxwell, Ma Maxwell Smart used to say. All right, 99, do your thing. <laughs> Is he back? He is back. He is back. Very yeah. good shot. Very He's making good. a statement on us, Andy. Um, right. Okay, right. And that was a you just couldn't have landed on, on a worse position it was right on that down slope mm. well there's only one thing for it i just have to chip it in yeah <laughs> come on <laughs> <laughs> oh dear well <laughs> There's a, a little man who just popped up in my head there, and you know what he said? He said, who are you trying to kid? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, choose, bang or whimper. <laughs> go on, go on. Oh. Oh, very nice. Oh, you donkey. Oh, it's me again. Well, on the one hand, the Lord giveth, and the other, he taketh away. The so, golf god, yeah, the Lord giveth, the golf god taketh away. Yeah. I think that's Back how it Back to six. I can't see him missing this. Good. Good recovery after the last hole, Dave. Hey. Oh, it was just one bad shot. Hmm. Did you take a seven iron or a six iron on that par three? Oh. What was it? Because uh... I, I suspected you might have. Well, I don't know what you did, but... Uh, I can't remember now. Um, I think you must I, have hit a six. I think I hit the 179 club or whatever it was. The 183 did it. Yeah, just, yeah just wasn't enough. Oh. Four seventy two. Hell. Where's he going? Where's he going? All right. Look at that. He's that's threading a, it through the branches. That's a very exciting line. Is Bella there supporting you, Andy? <laughs> what do you think? No. <laughs> well, even uh, when she's there... I'll she... tell you what I, what I can see. I can see bloody fur... On the uh, living room carpet, it's like a bloody trail, you know. She gets excited and runs about and chases, and and because she's very, very um, uh, soft, gentle uh, coat, it, mm. you know, she sheds quite a bit of it. And it uh, 
Well, right, she's just going to have to clean it up herself. <laughs> well, that's better than... I'm not, I'm not, I'm not that's talking what, about Carol either. Your cat is so much better than my mum's cat, whose name is um, uh, Max. And um, I was there this morning, <laughs> and Max bring, brings in a mouse. <laughs> he's going. He's got. He's got the mouse in his mouth, and he's going rawr, rawr, with his mouth full. You know, he, he's so happy to have bought mum a tribute. And um, mum goes, "Oh, the poor mouse. Take him outside and see if you can recover him, and you know, get him away from the mouse." I, I didn't have the heart to mention to my mum that the mouse's head was removed. <laughs> <laughs> so I said, "All right, mum. I took it outside." <laughs> I said, I think it's going to be okay, man. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> uh, yeah, I, that's a favourite thing with cats, uh, biting the heads off. I don't know why yeah. they do. They don't very seldom eat the heads, they just bite the bloody... I know. <laughs> They're like serial killers or something. Yeah, it's a tableau. <laughs> this is what I do. <laughs> <laughs> In their spare time, they watch the uh, Texas Chainsaw Massacre. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> One ninety. Oh, they never get arrested for it, so why not? Well, that was a. Well, that'll be fun. <laughs> the um, I haven't looked at the markets this morning in in Europe, mm. but uh. I wouldn't be surprised to see the markets down five percent. In, in uh, I, th I think they were just uh, the, the uh, markets were just taken absolute fright on it. What's happening in Europe? Mm. It's like the markets have said, Corona doesn't exist. You know, they got frightened, I mean, and then they just the got ignore it. The last five weeks, the markets have done really, really well. Yeah, on what but basis? I think, I think they're going to lose most of the gains they made mm. uh, by what, what happened over the weekend. A lot of it's on the um, the news of the um, vaccine and stuff. Yeah, yeah, they're but they're that, pricing uh, in a recovery that's perfect, and it's not going to be perfect it's, because it's the vaccines like, they've just invented they might not work on next year's Corona. It's going Could to be take like six to twelve months to roll it out to the general population. Anyway, it's, yeah, this is a long-term thing. Well, it might never go away. Oh Christ! This never fails to um, grind me down. <laughs> <laughs> well, this oh, pin I mean, is in a prick of a spot. You're actually not bad where you are, Andy. Yeah, the only difference is I'm playing my fifth shot, Dave. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that pin is so brutal. It's right on a mound. And you've ended up all right too, Dave. Yeah, I'm really happy with that. I'm delighted with four feet. That was close, very close. Mm. Okay, let's. Oh, firmly stuck. Ah, nice, Andy. 
Well, I made an absolute arse of that all, but never mind. <laughs> well, the putt made it less of an arse. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Look for the silver lining, Andy. <laughs> yeah. The silver lining is I got my Chantenay carrots this morning. <laughs> Chantenay carrots. I mean, c considering it was the store had only been open a quarter of an hour, mm. all right, so we roll up at quarter past six, and there were maybe half a dozen small bags of Chantenay carrots uh, left at, th at that point from uh, the stock. It's the only bloody time of the year we we really have them. Well, that's curious because I've never heard of a Chantenay carrot. It's never been. Well, the, I mean, usually store. carrots carrots can be you know, I don't know, anywhere between sort of maybe four six inches even longer with uh, big carrots, but these are just only one or two inches, ah. and they're short and dumpy. Yeah. Um, the fat at the uh, where the shoots come out, and they uh, the other end is a fairly tapered point, and they're slightly sweeter. Um, very I don't nice. think we have them. We sometimes have what, what's called baby carrots, which sounds similar, except they're thinner. Probably a different um, genus of carrot. Who knows? Oh dear. Uh, I I can see this uh, next week is going to be. I'm going to be dispensing with my usual alcohol Monday and Tuesday, and I'm just going to go straight into into it again. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, I hope your descent into alcoholism is now fault, Andy. <laughs> No, it's definitely not your fault. <laughs> ah, hand grenade. Oh, hand grenade. Not a disastrous one, though. Oh, I'm going to give you a story, Dave. Oh. Yeah. Um, has to do with Oliver McCarthy. Really? Yeah. Now, you know how Ian has retired? Yeah. And he's basically sold his half of the business to Paul. Yeah. Anyway, Paul came into the office this morning. Yeah. And both the servers were gone, the UPS and the backup NAS system. Wow. Ian's, Ian's son had come in on the weekend and taken everything. Really? <laughs> but why? Oh, I don't know. We don't know. We don't understand the situation. But I didn't know there was any problem between them. There isn't. He's just, so gone, and, he's just gone and done it. Why? Well, apparently Ian's got like three months of work that he needs to catch up on. But, we, but we'd, we'd, we'd arrange remote access, all that sort of stuff for him. We don't understand why he's done it. It doesn't make any sense at all. No, it does not. <laughs> it's absolutely oh. madness. Wow. You know, That's a 25 crazy. year partnership, or well, yeah. maybe even longer. I really don't know how long they've actually been together in business. Well, they seemed like really good friends every time I met so them. What, what, what do they do as their business, Dave? Accountants. Right. But we did a land deal with them, and um, we got to know them a bit that way. And they seem like really straight up good guys, both of them. So presumably there's something going on that, that, that we don't uh, know about. Uh, there must be. It seems impossible that that could happen. Wow. So. What's what's happening from here, Dave? That's a great shot, by the well, way. Yeah, thanks. We um spent the day trying to recover his two servers from from backups from Friday. Yeah. But the process yeah. takes a long, 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 long time because it's 
built up with multiple backup chained files and stuff. So as far as I'm aware, at the end of the day, that was still going. Oh crap, I've hit it too hard. Oh no! That's wrong. Oh. This, like Paul, spent three hours trying to contact Ian and eventually yeah. got him. And last night, basically, um, Matt came into the office and set Paul up with an internet connection. It's just the weirdest thing. Well, I'm really glad we got out of all that land deal in one piece, Dave. I know. We, <laughs> we got out by the skin of our teeth. We've dodged bullets. Yeah. Fantastic. I, I seem to re recall you telling me something about this. Could you, do you mind giving me the the the, the abridged version of what oh. happened? Oh, but, but, but this is the thing. The two guys that we're talking about right now were the good guys in the land deal. The, this other guy right. was the one that we had all the trouble with. Yeah, Lakey. Uh, yeah. So, oh, do you person. want to give the broad strokes? No, you, you okay. can, though, because you, you sued okay. Lakey for... Because <clears> I've been... Friends with this bloke since I was 13. Yeah. I've known him for nearly you know, 40 years. And Dave's yeah. only known him through this land deal. Yeah. So anyway, we've gone into this land deal. It's it's me, it's Dave, it's Lakey, who's the one that Dave just mentioned he's known forever. And it's Ian Oliver and Paul, these two that are now fighting. And the we bought the land 10 years ago. Yeah, for yeah. very, very little money. And it's appreciated really well. Yeah. And, yeah, to roughly f maybe four times what, what it was worth when we bought it. Yeah. You know, just pretty good in 10 years, whatever. And um, anyway, um, Lakey went crazy, um, had all sorts of issues with the law. Um, and yeah, then what he did, he, he secretly mortgaged part of our land without telling us. <laughs> Yeah, and so he had debts against that mortgage, and that's when it got nasty. And we went to a lawyer, and we said, do what you have to do. And the lawyer said, on day one of county court, it's going to cost you $50,000 to fight Lakey over this. And we said, go ahead. Because what the lawyer said to us was, in the background, I know for a fact that Lakey doesn't have much money and no one's going to lend him any because they know that he hasn't got much money and he's got all these debts. So if you throw up I'm this... No lawyer in fact, threat, going to touch it. He's, he's going to back out. And that's exactly what happened. We rolled a $50,000 dice and he backed out and stopped trying to... Uh, took out that mortgage and all that sort of stuff and just released us from all that. And then we sold the land straight away because we just didn't want to know anything more about it. Yeah, yeah. And we got out of it. But um, it was so stressful. You know, it was only a few weeks from being in county court and costing us $50,000. And we're going, oh, my God. <laughs> and uh, anyway, we got out of it. But, yeah, Paul and Ian, you know, they were our rocks in this whole thing. They were the the accountants and the whatever they were on our side they were with us and it was all of us against lakey and now they've disintegrated and now they're fighting and, yeah. and in that little period where we beat lakey and they were still happy we all separated the money and sold the land and everything happened smoothly and now now it's like divorce land for them well, so uh -huh. thank god it happened you know as it did we were really like yeah. thing dave i went around and saw paul at his office yeah. And Paul, he's such a great guy. He had nothing bad to say about Ian. He wasn't angry or he, he, he was clearly upset. Probably like, well, I don't know, I don't understand why this has happened. Yeah. But Paul's just a top bloke. Yeah, yeah I just... He is a top bloke, and but I thought Ian was too. Well, something's happened, hasn't it? <laughs> I just don't know what. Mm. We might never know. No, I don't think we will. Well, all I'm saying is, Dave, we're not going in any more land deals with them. That's no. it. We're done. Hmm. But, you now at the end of the day, we did okay. We we got out of it with more than triple our money. Yeah. Oh, speaking of which, we're still <laughs> going to have to pay it this year. 
Yeah, we've got, we got to pay tax now on that money. <laughs> yeah, I've, I've, have you done your tax for this year? No. I haven't done mine either. So we've got to contact him and say, here's the details that Ian sent us. Yeah. Look at Dave go. Oh, he's, you couldn't have done that. You couldn't have walked it down there any better. But Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> and this is exactly the shot Dave loves to lay up on, but it's only 2.12. Oh. What's he going to do? Yeah, the problem is if I hit the 7, I could easily go long and end up at the back. Yep. So hit the 9, Dave. I don't have an iron wood. Hey. Uh, what did you hit there, Dave? You, you, you uh, trounced me on the, the, yeah. the distance. I just hit the driver. Yeah, but you must have been playing with a hard ball. <laughs> uh, 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 like a, a Dunlop or a Slazinger or something. Yeah, pinnacle. Hmm. He's almost a, a 195 club will just about make it with the tailwind. Oh, my... No, it's going to be okay. It'll land a little shoulder. A fair way. Oh! oh. First cut. You can do it. Like over water? Well, we'll see. Uh, 219. Oh, this is... This is uh, made for this club. If I hit it. Oh, it's not a bad one. You've hit it. It's perfect, Andy. Oh, it's going to turn left. Watch this. Oh, it's so close. Yep. That's lovely. Uh, oh, it's a great shot all the same. Eagle coming up, maybe. <sighs> I've got 8% power loss. It's got to be the 2.30 club. Um, yep, that's it. 2.30 with a bit of draw. Oh, oh, oh my word. Oh, that was a brave shot. <laughs> it was. That was really brave. <laughs> it was a good effort. It was a good effort. <laughs> well, yeah. you've certainly uh, asked the question there. Well, well, do I lay up or do I go for it? Only a girl would lay up. <laughs> <laughs> last words <laughs> the line's great if it's the 195 club he's going to be gorgeous or plugged <laughs> it's fine that was the 195 i assume it was there's no way i could use the seven there it just really no you that was the best shot <laughs> i'm glad you hit that straight dave <laughs> yeah, i bet he is too <laughs> <laughs> Uh, not a little bit of work left. This, what an exciting part. It, it's got huge break. Oh, wow. It's a bit of a Landry putt, Dave. Hmm. No, it's not. Oh, I can't believe how much that missed by. Uh, but that's in. That next one will be in. Should be. Well, let's see where that goes. <laughs> yeah, that's the straight, straightest putt I've had all night. Yep. Oh, miserable. 
Absolutely miserable putt. Little bit of right to left. Oh, you got it there. I can't believe you sunk that. Fantastic. Oh. That is what they call a clutch putt. That's probably going to win you the game, Dave. I haven't given up just yet. <laughs> I hope not. But, well, this is... Just... <laughs> I would love to be on a golf tournament, you know, a real one, and they go to the leader who's leading by two, and he goes, I haven't given up just yet. <laughs> It would be a famous comment. Oh, Andy. It was kind of trying to get back, but... Oh, it's a beauty. Perfect. And it, 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 it's the right number as well. You just couldn't have hit a better shot. It's an it's a no baby. Oh baby. Wow. Great work. Now there's a chance. Straight at it and now there's fancy fading or hooking it in. Well, I thought by accident. Hang on. Uh -oh, uh -oh. Hang on. Hang on. That's it. Oh. That's the game. <laughs> uh, forced his hand. He had to go for it. I did go for it. Well, at this rate, I, I've got a. Have I got a note? No, no, I'm. <laughs> I was going to say, I might have an outside chance of... Uh, yeah, I don't think so. with today. I think we're just going to... Depends where you... Oh! That's a nice shot. Tough. Isn't it? That's a fucking beauty. I'm not lying down. Another nice shot. Lovely. Now yeah, we just get Dave to three putt from here. Still a chance. I don't think this is going to go in the hole. There you go. You should be a golf commentator, Andy. <laughs> There's a new position that no, no, Pet Ellis is no longer with us. <laughs> My favourite, I loved it. I was watching some tournament one day and um, Ian Baker Finch is going, oh, you know, this guy's going to win a fair bit of money for this tournament. Um, you know, the prizes are pretty good these days. And he goes, you know, in my day, you know, money was okay, but not that great. And the commentator goes, you make more a tournament now commentating that you made your whole career. <laughs> <laughs> Which probably wasn't true, but <laughs> it's very funny. It'd be very close right. to it, though. Well, you got to hold the claret jug once, so... Yep. Yes, nobody can take that away from him. Yep. Well, this has been a... Masterclass, Dave. I Indeed. think he can start, just, start he, waving. He's just punished us, Andy. I mean, that was a pretty gutsy uh, two there. Because um, I was under no pressure. But I wasn't... Uh, didn't hit it uh, straight to the pin. I didn't have the, the balls to do it. And look at that. You couldn't have walked it down there any better than that. Or could oh. you? Well, yes. <laughs> yeah, you could have. That's uh, first cut. It's it's okay. That's the first one I put any shape on. It didn't quite work. It was still a good strike. Oh. 
Mm. That's the oh, perfect that's... shot. Yep. That is the perfect shot. <sighs> I'm coming back at you, Dave. <laughs> <laughs> Uh-oh. He's given up. I have not given up. <laughs> Give he just didn't seem to make any effort there, though. No shape <laughs> or anything. Shut up. <laughs> give up. <sighs> Even when I'm dead, I won't give up, Dave. No, that's true. I'm I might not play very well, but I won't give up. Right. Pushed it right. It would have bounced up lovely too. All right, what have we got? 11% power loss. Oh, um, one, one, uh, one thing about next week, Dave, which uh, we agreed Friday was definitely going to be out. Yep. And I, I said, well, I wasn't quite sure what was happening on Saturday. Well, I am sure now yep. because um, our Christmas window has now been reduced from five days to one day. Yep. So I won't be going anywhere and nobody will be coming here on Boxing Day. So that could be the day? Could be, yeah. All right. Well, I'll alternatively mark it in uh, Boxing yeah. Day. So you get to then, see, you get to see um, family and Ivy on Christmas Day. Yeah, looks like it. Fantastic. Come on, fade. Hmm. Good night. Had pretensions of being a nice uh, distance, but it didn't work out. <laughs> oh, oh. It's just a master class. It's a statement. Yeah. He's back. And leaving us like a bag of of, uh, of lettuce, which is past its sell-by date, limp and useless, <laughs> <laughs> and a bit sweaty. Oh, I wouldn't say I wouldn't say it <laughs> sweaty at all. Well, that, that could be uh, the case. Lack here, of though. lack of texture and body. <laughs> Just limp. Not a phrase you want to use to describe yourself. No. Okay. Well, we we're all going to get up and down. Going to. Yeah, it looks that way. Take something away from the game. Hmm. That was a struggle, that, that round for me. I'm shuddering to think what my stats are going to be. <laughs> I don't think they'll be very good. Yeah. <laughs> I wasn't actually insulting him. That's a scene from Caddyshack, Andy. <laughs> Great movie, yeah. Yeah, all right. Look at the colour on that back nine. It was a thrilling round. Yeah, there weren't many pars from anybody. It was... I, in fact, that last hole was... Hang on. 
There's plenty of colour everywhere, front nine as well. Actually, there were only two holes where we all parred them. Was, uh, <laughs> yeah. That's was pretty a, rare. Yeah. No, I, oh, I like that course because it, it doesn't, it's not super spectacular, but it's interesting and it's testing. Wow. So the, the only stat I won, and that was probably because you two hit a couple of three woods, was the long, uh, the average drive yep. and what? the long drive. Yeah, but look at the stats oh, the for, for Slasa. He's, he's putting. Putting killed you. Absolutely smashed us. Yeah, and that, yeah. And that's, well, without trying to be offensive, that doesn't happen very often. No, <laughs> Oh, with my putting and my scrambling, I, I, yeah. I had to win. There's no way I could have lost. Mm. Oh, sorry, yeah. But I, I, I think that's that was probably a function of the fact that you put uh, three, four, five approaches within ten, ten feet or so. Yep. Uh, and I, I think the only one that I got within, I think I got two fairly close but that was it the rest was absolutely nowhere <laughs> never any way I was going to uh, hold anything and that proved to be the case yes well congratulations uh, plus four that's all I can say oh yeah I'll say thank you guys because normally I, I, I'm the one that crumbles like a you know, wet paper bag <laughs> so no, I'm glad I held on that time